Be bold, be strong, love loud, be triumphant. Be bold, be strong, love loud, be triumphant. And we pray, Jesus, that you will have full course. Lord God Almighty, sit upon us, sweet Jesus. Silent all the enemies. And let the glory of God, let the glory of God be felt in this place. Let the glory of God be seen. Oh, somebody praise God. Somebody help me praise God. Oh, glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray for the worship team. Come on. We put the worship team in our, in our prayers. Charge them with the Holy Spirit. God, cover them. Lord, use them that, the way that you know best. Hallelujah. Cover them behind the, the shield of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody help me. We want to have something different today. We want to have a newness, a new experience today. Oh God, we thank you in Jesus' name. Somebody shout Jesus one more time. Ah, somebody shout one more time, Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus one more time. Woo, glory to God. God bless you in Jesus' name. Worship team. Hallelujah. 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 We lift you up, Jesus. And we come into your house just to bless your name. And we sing and we shout the highest praise, which is hallelujah. We magnify your name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless him. Come on and bless the Lord with me. 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 As we sing the highest praise, hallelujah. We sing hallelujah, singing hallelujah. Singing hallelujah, singing hallelujah. We sing the highest praise, hallelujah. Come on and bless, come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord.
you up, Jesus. And here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely. You're all Together worthy. All together worthy. All together wonderful. All together wonderful to me. Light of the world. Light of the world. You step down.
And with our hands left, lifted up, we say, here I am to worship. Humbly you came to the earth you created. Humbly you came to the earth you created. All for love's sake became poor. All for love's sake became poor. So here we are to worship God. So here I am. Yeah. 
Say that again, but sing it to him. You're all together. He's all together worthy. When we think about the goodness of God. Wonderful to me. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, O oh God. Hallelujah. We glorify your name. Ah, hallelujah. Here we are to worship. Here we are to bow down. Hallelujah. In spite of the plans of the adversary. But here we are. Here we are to worship. The devil threw his many darts. But here we are. Glory to God. Many things come our pathway, but here we are. Here we are to worship. Hallelujah. And so we praise him this morning. We give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. For the Lord has done great things for us. We're off, we're glad. And because of that, here we are to worship. Here we are to bow down. And here we are to say that he is God. He's altogether lovely. He's altogether worthy. And he's altogether wonderful. Hallelujah. And we owe him all the glory. We owe him all the praise. And so we lift him up this morning. We lift him high. For he is God. He's sovereign. He's Lord. He's God over our circumstances. Hallelujah. So all we have to do is to give him the praise. The honor and the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Anybody have anything to thank him for? Anybody have anything? Anything? Thank you, Jesus. Anything to thank him for? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. Oh, great and mighty God, we bless you. Oh, we praise your great name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, we bless this holy name. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Looking back in my life, I see the many things you have done for me. Glory to God. I hold you the praise. I hold you the honor. I hold you the glory. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Hallelujah. Praise him. Ah, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. We thank you this morning, Lord. Oh, glory to God. We lift up your holy name and we bless you this morning. Hallelujah. We praise your great name. We praise your great name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, glory to God. Yeah, we bless you this morning, God. We lift you up and we honor you for your God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. It's offering time. You're going to worship him now with our offering and our tithes. Amen. Sacrificial offering this morning. Amen. As we come into the house of God. David said, I will not give unto God that which costs me nothing. Amen. When you're giving an offering, it must cost you. Amen. It must cost you something. You just don't pick up a dollar and just give because it's a dollar. We give an offering that costs us. For that's the gift that God accepts and God counts. The offering that I could use this $10 to do something. But I'm giving it unto God. I will not give to God that which cost me nothing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that was a king. David, when he, when he went to the king, the king, the king saw him coming and said, this is the king of Israel. So I'm going to give him something to make sacrifice. I'll give him to make sacrifice. And David said, no, I will not accept it. I will not sacrifice to God that which costs me nothing. So this morning, let your offering mean something. Let your offering mean something. As you give, you give from the depth of your heart. Amen. To the glory of God. Let us stand. Glory to God. With our offering and our tithes in our hand. This brand new month in a brand new year. 
God has been good. Things could have been otherwise. But God is good. Amen? God is good. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. So hold your offering and your tithes into your hand. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God as we make our declaration this morning. Amen. As I live a triumphant life. We are calling those things that are not as though they are. Even if you are faltering and failing, but God is good and God is able to keep you living a triumphant life. As I live a triumphant life, I accept all supernatural concepts and ideas that God has to lead me to my destiny. I sow triumphantly. I reap triumphantly. I give triumphantly. And I live triumphantly. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you glory, God. We give you honor. We give you praise. We thank you for the offering that your children is about to give. We pray for a supernatural blessing, oh God, upon the offering today. Bless the hands that stretch forward to give. Oh God, may they continue to prosper and flourish in the house of God. And whatever God they put their hands to do, God, they will find success. Bless the offering again, bless the tithes, and bless the hearts of your children as we give to your glory. We say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hushers will direct you as you give to the glory of God. We bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We Sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord as we as we offer unto you the sacrifice is of thanksgiving as we offer unto you the sacrifice.
if we're going to do anything, are we gonna, before we even go further, we're going to make sure we give God our praise. Somebody get join me. Let's praise God that's in this place. Come on, let's praise God in this place. Hallelujah. Let's praise God in this place. Hallelujah. Let's ha- let the Lord inhabit our praise. Let the Lord inhabit our worship. Let the Lord inhabit our praise. Hallelujah. Let the Lord inhabit all the praise and the glory. Hallelujah. Somebody bless God. Somebody bless God. Oh God, we, we refuse to be silent in the house of God. We refuse, hallelujah, to take our praise back, to take our worship back home with us. Oh God, somebody bless God in this place. We refuse. We refuse to take our praises back home. We refuse, Pastor Watson, to take our worship back. We refuse to give God our very best. We refuse to allow the enemy to block us from doing that. In other words, it doesn't matter what is going on. And I come to let somebody know there are tough times, yes. But in a tough time, God will prove himself mighty. God will prove himself strong. God will prove himself as a deliverer, as a provider, a source, a way out. Oh God, somebody ought to witness with me this morning. (laughs) Hallelujah. In the bad times, Deacon Brown, God will show himself mighty. Mighty in all the difficulties of life. Mighty and highly exalted in all the dramas of life. God will show himself mighty. My God. I praise God for our pastors, Pastor Watson, Pastor Richards. Pastor David in his absence, Jillian in, in her absence, our deacons. Come on, let's put our hands for deacons in the house. Our evangelists, put our hands for the evangelists. For all the God's people that are, that are here and are, are giving God the very best. Come on, let's put our hands together. And we want to go back to the past and this. And just give God praise for them. Amen. Come on. Put your hands for the pastors. And to all the visitors and people and members that are returning home. We give God thanks for you. We salute you. We honor God for you. Amen. Any visitor in the house? Just by the raising of the hand. Oh, we give God thanks for everyone. Amen. I, I'm seeing my dear friend, Sister Ruth. Oh, God, we praise God for her. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. And all God's people that have gone through, it doesn't matter if you have gone through COVID, or have you have gone through sickness, you have gone through operation. Amen. We serve a God that, Pastor, he will stand all the tests. In other words, there's nothing surprised God about you. And God will always show up for you. Amen? And the college student in the house? Yes. Yes. Amen. Let me say to you, college, college student, God will always allow you and God will always furnish you with all the knowledge you have. That he wants you. A matter of more than you ever dream of. God will furnish you with all of that. And do more than enough. You will pass all your exams. Oh glory to God. Somebody speak to me this morning. Get about Shanda Rabasata. We're talking about. We're talking about st- stirring. So we are speaking life. In, in, in this service. Oh God almighty. 
So all God's children, all the young people in this place, they will, they will come and they will succeed in life and they will be better than, than you ever dream of, than parents even dreamed of. Because God has already ordained his blessing on them. My God. Our singles in the church, God will bless them with good husband, good wife. Oh, somebody ought to speak to me. Hey, God. Sometimes we take this for a joke and we, and we, we just speak uh, some Mickey Mouse thing and we leave. Come, we, God need, we need to prove God. We can't just come every Sunday, come and we sit down and we look. No, we need to start proving God. We need to start seeing God at his word. In other words, God, he said it. Let's expect it to happen. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And, and ministers, we're declaring that God will charge you with a supernatural. Hallelujah. With a supernatural to do his work and do more than enough. And all the passion that once die will rise up like a giant. Rise up in us with fire, with power, and anointing in the name of Jesus. Somebody stand up and praise God with me. We refuse to come in and go the same way we came in. We believe we came and I will be charged supernaturally, charged with power, charged with the anointing, charged with the passion, charged. Woo! Yes. 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 If this church could only understand the capability and all the talent that God has placed in her, in her. If, if this church could understand all the gifting that God has placed in her, if this church could understand all the mystery and all the, and all the miracles that God want to do in this church, Let me say this to the church. The Holy Spirit is deep in this church. The Holy Spirit is deep in this church. Deep from the old Bishop Boris. Deep from all the old, old patriot that, that stood around him. The Holy Spirit is strong and will remain strong in this church. Somebody praise God with me. We're not serving a dead God. This church is not a dead church. This is not a church is not a cold church, but this church. Oh my God. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. And that's why God wants us to understand with all what's going on. Sometimes we come and sometimes we don't come. And even when we come, sometimes we look around and we get discouraged. Sometimes we murmur and we complain. Sometimes we talk bad about the church. Sometimes we talk about bad about the pastors. Sometimes we talk bad about each other. But I come to let somebody know that God is in this house. Somebody, I want to let somebody know. You speak freely. But God is in this house. God is in this house. And it's not just now in Bishop McLeod. No, way back. Way back. So the Holy Spirit is deep in this place. It's deep, deep, well in this place. And we need to tap into it. Oh God, we need to tap into it. Somebody say, tap into it. Oh, yes. 
bless God. Woo! Jesus. Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Come in this place. Now, we, we are on the same theme, a slight change in the theme, but we are on the same scripture. So, I'm going to ask you to grab your Bible. Are you going to turn to the book of 2nd Chron- Second, um, Corinthians? One, 2nd Corinthians, one. The six and the seventh verse. I'm going to ask everyone to stand this morning. You're going to read this. And I want all of us to allow the Holy Spirit to minister the word stirring us. That, that, that word will become light. It will illuminate in our spirit. Amen. You find it? If you don't find it, give me a minute. Oh, glory to God. Second Corinthians chapter 1, verse 6 and 7. Read. All right. Now turn to, turn to Timothy. Second Timothy 1, 6, and 7. I think that, that, that's the scripture I'm looking for. Sometimes when you, when you write things down, you write what you thought instead of writing the right thing. But listen, we're never going to pay that no mind. We're going to read the right scripture this morning, right? Amen. Join me. Come on. Read. Read, read, all right, that was just for you, read now for the glory of God, everybody stand, one, two, three, read. Fear, right? Amen. You got the power, right? You have the power, right? Let me say this. Every now and then, when discouragement comes our way, you have a tendency to slow us down. You have a tendency to make us go into a little shell. You have a tendency to make us get weak. And, and to a point of getting sorry for herself. Every now and then when discouragement comes in, it, it brings with it a, a spirit of regret. And they take us back to places that we should have been. As a matter of fact, we have, we have overcome on what we have left behind. And the enemy always wants us to get into a spirit of regret. Because when you get into a spirit of regret, you start to starve for yourself. You start to say, oh God, look at me. Look at me. Look, look at this. But we come this morning in the name of Jesus. I'm going to ask you to stand and hold somebody's hand. And we're going to pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we put this word in your hands this morning. We ask of you for a, a supernatural power, a f- supernatural experience. I pray that you speak through us, God. I pray that the anointing will flow. I pray that you, God, will minister to the pe- your people. God, I pray that you, Lord, will sit upon us through the Holy Spirit and God use us for your glory. Father, I pray that you speak to me, God, not for myself, not of myself, but God, I pray you speak, Lord. Speak in the name of Jesus. Speak as the Spirit of God give utterance. Speak, hallelujah, that God, the power of the Holy Spirit will rise up in this church. 
in the name of Jesus. Bind up every, every weakness, every tiredness, every drunkenness, every, every deadness, every drought, every barrenness, every stagnation. Oh God, we bind them up in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we put you in control of our lives. Because you are the one. So here we are, God. Take over now, we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give praise and glory to you. And all God people say amen. amen. Now clap your hands to Jesus like you never clapped it before. Amen. Now, I want to leave a team with you, piggybacking from what we started last time. And stir up the fire. The first time we said stir up the gift, but stir up the fire. Amen. Stir up the fire. Yeah, the Holy Ghost fire. Somebody say Holy Ghost fire. Uh, for you to have any true gift, the Holy Spirit must be very visible in your life. We cannot really have gifts and wonderful gifts without the Holy Spirit really and truly be, a matter of fact, be actually stand out in your life. You may have gifts and you can do certain things, but you take you thus far. But when you have the Holy Spirit, you go thus far and beyond. Oh, glory to God. Amen? Now, when they say, stir up your fire. If you remember... We talk about the fire and you, you build the fire. You, you need something to build the fire. Let me say there are times when the fire will go cold and, and go really cold. That you got to stir it up. But not only you stir it up, you got to blow on it. I don't know if you ever cook in the bush. You see, I have both experience, as I said last week. I have the country life and I have the city life. <laughs> so there are times when you have to blow <laughs> so you blow on the fire and the fire becomes ignited and the fire starts to, to blaze but there are times also where you actually fan the fire <laughs> when you fan the fire in other words the fire now is dead but you want to fan it for it to become alive Oh God, you want it to, to become activated and be the fire it ought to be. Amen. Oh God. So when we say stir up the fire, we are saying literally fan the fire. Fan the fire that God placed in you. And as I said before, with all the drama that is going on, and all the many things, we have a tendency to, to, this, to this be distracted by all these things. Let's be honest. It doesn't matter if you're a bishop. It doesn't matter if you're a pastor. It doesn't matter if you're a member. Every now and then, we become distracted. And our distracted also brings some discouragement. And some of us, some, some people have to deal with depression. And every time this spirit of this depression comes, it slow you down. It, it make you want to lock away yourself. I'm hearing of people who have depression that they, they don't want to come out of the house for weeks. Uh, sometimes they, they have taken a bath, uh, clean their teeth, they're stuck in the room and all this stuff because the enemy have somewhat captivate them. Uh, but I come to let you know that this morning you have the power. Somebody say, I got the power. And I, I'm going to make sure that whatever I do in this 2023, I'm going to ask God to stir my fire. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask God to stir my fire and give me the ability to fan my flame. Oh God. In other words, it doesn't matter how weak I am. This year I'm declaring that I will be strong. Get a bush. It doesn't matter how sick I am. I'm declaring that this year I will be healed. It doesn't matter how much my saving account is all run down to zero. Or to dollar a few single digits. But I come to let you know that this year we want to declare. And we want to fan the flame that I will have more than enough this year. 
Hallelujah. So at the end of this year, I'm saying, God, look at my account now. But God, 2023, at the end of 2023, I am going to fan this thing that when the years end, I have something to prove and have something to show what God has done for me, Deacon Dias. So often, we allow the enemy to trick us and to get us into a place where we see poverty and poverty is all around us and, and, and drought is all around us. Barrenness is all around us. Stagnation is all around us. Oh God, nothing growing around us. But this year we say, in the name of Jesus, we will fan the flame and it will burn every stagnation, burn every drought, and God will bless me indeed. Oh God. Oh God. I'm speaking to people who feel as if God has turned you, his back on you. Yeah. Have you ever prayed and said, God, I need you to answer this prayer? Have you ever prayed and believe that God, you have prayed and you, it has not even yet come to pass, Sister Sandra? And you keep praying. They said, you really mean that God has not answered my prayer? You mean that I have been faithful to God, Deacon Brown, and God has not answered my prayer? <laughs> I come to let you know. If you wait on the Lord and be of good courage, the Lord will do great things and God will show up not when you really want him, but when you need him. Oh God, somebody bless God. You see, in this wonderful text, Timothy was going through a series. Now Paul already was in prison. All the henchmen of the ruler was looking for Timothy. In other words, Timothy and all the Christians were put in a place where they either hide or none exist. But Paul was so bold enough that when, even when he was in prison, they couldn't keep him shut. They couldn't shut his mouth. Oh God. So he, want, he wanted Timothy to still have that anointing upon him. You see, his grandma and mama has prayed for him. They, oh God, they had laid hands on him already. So, Timothy had that anointing already. So, Paul is saying to Timothy, listen, whatever you do, don't be distracted by the enemies. Don't be distracted by the force of darkness that is after you. Don't be distracted by the people that is coming after you. He's saying, listen, I'm in prison, but I know God is protecting you, Timothy. And Timothy was somewhat nervous, Deacon Brown. Paul grabbed a hold of this word and he said, listen, Timothy, listen, Timothy, stir up the fire. Stir up the gift. For you to understand gift, you got to understand the Holy Spirit. So stir up the gift in you. Stir up the fire. In other words, and I'm saying to you, not only stir up the fire, but fan the flame. Fan the flame. Fan the flame. Oh, bless God. I want to say to you, church, that God has something great in store for this church. You see, to understand this theme, you gotta, you gotta understand this. And you gotta look at the necessary thing that needed for the fire. We spoke about this last week and we started, yes. And we said last week, you need a fluid. And now, fluid can come in all different forms. It can come in gas, Deacon Brown. And we, most of us have gas stove and those who have no gas stove as the electric stove. But even those who are living, uh, living off the grid, they may have wood stove. They may have some, uh, some kitchen 
that you, you, you use certain coal or whatever. But let me say this. There's nothing sweeter, Deacon Brown, to cook with wood. But Deacon Brown, you know this also. That when you cook in the bush, you can just use any wood. If the wood is, if, if the wood of the log is soaking wet, you can't use it, Sister, Sister Evan Just Wilson. Our oh God Almighty, listen. If, if the wood is wet, you can't use it. My God, if the wood is rotten, you don't make it make sense to put it in the fire. And, and Deacon Brown, there's a wood they call bitter wood. <laughs> there's a, a wood they call bitter wood. And now, Sister Sandra, let me say this, honey. As a little kid, I learned a lesson not to go close to the bitter wood. As you, as a little kid, you start running your little boat. You get any kind of wood and, and throw it in the fire. But there's something unique about the bitter wood. Whatever you use the bitter wood with, it will absorb that. So if you cook with the bitter wood, the food will be bitter. Oh God. If you're gonna if you're gonna do anything and you handle the bitter word, your hand gonna be so bitter. So God is saying to the church, as you, the people of God, embark on 2023, I want you to understand that as you put the as you get the fluid, you need to understand that the fluid is the word of God is like the word of God. Hallelujah. And, and every time you understand this, you got to realize that for you to start a fire, you really need something to burn. Sometimes we burn papers and, and all the many little light stuff, but they don't really have no great effect. No, 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 no. But let me say this. If you understand that, you will look for the best wood. But I want you, understand, you to understand this. That God's word is the best. The best thing that can start a fire in you. The best thing that can that generate fluid. The best thing that can generate heat. The best thing that can generate any dead thing that is still want to live. Hallelujah. And if you just allow God's word to become activated in you, you watch how God will burn inside of you with the Holy Spirit. Look how the word will come alive in you. Look how the word will start a fire in you. Look how the word will start something new in you. I come to let somebody know that coming to church on Sunday is not all it. Well, you got to get into the word. Let the word live through you. Oh Jesus. You cannot be true worshiper unless you are indulged in the word. You cannot be a, a true hearted Christian unless the word is alive in you. You know why so many people give trouble in the church? Because they read the word but they don't understand the word. They, they haven't yet allowed the word to penetrate them. So you, you see people in the church and they're still giving trouble. They're bitter, they're cold, they're lukewarm, they're dry, they're mean, and all the many things. The word go to one ear and go to the other. Have you ever come to church some Sunday or sometime and you have to wonder if you have done some people something? Huh? Have you walk up in church and people and sometimes you come to church and you, you have to wonder, what have I done that brother? What have I done that sister? Because sometimes the way they look at you, if you don't, if you don't watch it, you want to say, let me get out of here. You want to run back home. But I said, don't run back home. You stand still and allow God to do what he wants to do. <laughs> let me say this. The, 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 in every church you go to, there are going to be some bitter people. Because some folks just love to be part of the church. But they have not been in fully indebted with the word of God. The word has not yet come life into them. 
So what will happen is that they come. Yeah, they talk about church goes triumphant. We don't want us. We don't want triumphant to be church goers. We want triumphant to be true hearted people of God. That when people see you on the road, people see you on the street, people see you on the avenue, people see you in the store, they see Christ in you. They don't see a sour face, but they see a Christ-like figure. Oh, God Almighty, somebody bless God in this place. The problem in the church, we do have two faces. One for the house and one for the church. So we come into the doors and we put on a church face. But I come to let Triumph know that we are better than that. Somebody say this. We are better than this. We are better than that. Come on, say it with me. We are better than that. Come on, shout it. We are better than that. In other words, God is saying, Sister Sonia, we're going we're gonna to catapult and God, we're going to reach the place that God going to say, you see what I was saying to you all these years, that I want to do greatness in you. But if we, if we only could allow God to keep us at the place. I mean, when they talk, as the song, let them talk, let them talk, let them talk, let them talk. In other words, let them talk. Let your enemy and, and your job, let them talk. Ayaboshanda. Let, let, let the neighborhood, let the people in, the, in your block, let them talk. The people in your apartment, let them talk. The people down the block, let them talk. The people in the church, let them talk. Because God is doing a new thing. Somebody say a new thing. God is doing a new thing in triumphant. Do I have an amen with that? Do I have an amen with that? God is doing a new thing in triumphant. And this year, at the end of 23, it will be better passed to us in the name of Jesus than 2022. Than even how we started 2023. In the name of Jesus. If we want to keep God's flame burning bright in us, we need to live the word. Romans 10, 17 says what? <laughs> so then faith comes by what? And and here and by if you're going to wait until Sunday to hear the word that means your faith is going to be really, really dry. In other words, your faith will be so stagnated, it has no use. But if you allow the word to work in you, hallelujah, then your faith will become alive. Oh, I wish I had somebody who said, my God, this year I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step out in faith. Uh, all these things that I used to hinder me, all these things that used to hold me down, I'm just going to step out in faith this year. I'm going to walk in the promises of God. I'm going to be anchored in God. I'm going to be doing what God wants me to do. I'm going to be fully equipped for God. And watch God blesses you. You see, when God bless you, he doesn't only bless you spiritually. Uh, God, he also bless you financially. And he also bless you physically. Oh, God Almighty. In other words, because I'm, I'm blessed, sickness will come, but he has to go. Oh, go to God. Sickness will come, but it has to go. Let me say this, brothers and sisters. We stir up the gift by using the gift we were given. Ah, hallelujah. We stir up the gift to godly discipline. Some people don't want to hear that word. Discipline. Let me say that the church must have discipline. Pastor Richard, your house must have 
Your, your house must have discipline. They come round. You, your house must have, there must be discipline in your house, sir. Oh, God Almighty. And let me say this. If you're just going to leave your house, just open up the thumb and hire run through there. Listen, there is no discipline in that house. Yeah. One of the things that God blessed me with four girls and I, I give God thanks for them. Because if they're out and they're running late, we're going to get a text. Daddy, we are running late. Daddy or mommy, we are on the way home. Yeah. In other words, it's not a place where room for rent, supply within, as I run in, you run out. Your problem, man, let me say this to your brothers in the church. You got to stand and hold your position as a man. The problem with our men today is that we are so, we, 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 we have given up so many of our rights. And we say, I want to say this. There is nothing wrong with having a good wife. And you and her just can talk together, see eye to eye. But she recognized you as the head of the house. There's nothing wrong with that. But if the man is going to give up his authority, God help him. Because if there's no one to draw attention or draw some discipline, somebody out of the blue will step forward. I'm more likely the wife will. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, somebody bless God in this place. Somebody bless God in. So, when we are ablaze inside, watch where I'm going now. I'm talking about the inside. So, what happened? When you are ablaze on the inside, what happened on the outside? It will show on the outside. You can be a spirit-filled person that is living for God, who will charge in the spirit, and it's not reflecting on the outside Deacon Brown. Let me say this. No, it doesn't work like that. The Holy Spirit is a paracletus who come alongside, hallelujah, in other words, enabling us to do what we are humanly impossible to do or whatever it is. What is beyond our limit? The Holy Spirit comes alongside. Hallelujah. You see, we need to understand that there are so many gifting in the church. And a couple of weeks ago when I minister to our dear sister Richardson. And when I finish, and I, I know I haste. Because I'm, maybe, you know, you have done that when you travel, but... In your own house, sometimes you don't want to even do it. Because everybody still see you as Eric. But this year, I don't care if you call me Eric, you call me Wasi, you call me MacLeod, Pastor Watson, I'm going to do what God wants me to do. And let me say this, it could be nice or broad, I'm going to still do what God wants me to do. Deacon Brown, this year, we're going to, we, 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 we want God, we're going to want to prove God in this church. We want to see God do the extraordinary in this church, but we want to be in par with God. We want to be in, in sync with God. We want to be in alignment with God as God do the extraordinary in this church. Hallelujah. We will be people that win soul for Jesus Christ in 2023. You see, when we are stagnated, all we want to do is sit and fold our hands and watch. What am I do? And what am I doing now? Look at them. You see them people there? Eh? No, it's not look at us. But this year, we're not going to say look at them. We're going to say look at us. Look at us. Somebody say look at us. Shout somebody on the top of your voice and say look at us. We God want to do something with us. God want to water us. Dry place come alive in us. Every barrenness will be removed from us. Kerabo 
Moshe. Every barren place, every stagnation will be stirred. Because anytime there's stagnation and you stir it, something always happens. Glory to God. Oh, somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody bless God. Oh, God. Hallelujah. I know that God wants to rekindle the supernatural in this church. Because, let's face it, but we don't even think about winning soul for Jesus no more. We don't even think about investing in the body of Christ. No. We just come, worship, go home. And there's not, nothing after that. That's, that's where we are. It's shame to say, that's where we are. Nobody has the enthusiasm to win soul. Nobody has the, the zeal, huh, the passion to run after soul. Nobody, nobody wants to see God move because we become so used to God. God is saying to triumphant, I call you for such a time as this. Triumphant, I want you to rise up. Triumphant, I want you to stir the gift and stir the fire in you because in you are gifts, in you are power, in you are anointed. They are shut up. God is saying to you, triumphant. God is saying to us, triumphant. You, me, triumphant. That I want to do a new thing in triumphant. In other words, God is saying, you, triumphant. I want to see, I'm going to, you're going to be, you're going to excel. But all I want is your heart. Get a bush thunder. Oh, all I want is your heart. All I want you from you is to activate the gifting that I place in you from your mother's in your mother's womb. Activate it. Before you were born, Sister Sandra from Odi Evangelist Ricketts, God placed gifting in you. Hallelujah. And when she carried for the six months, God still placed gifting in you. And in the last trimester, he st still had the gifting in you. And when you are born out of your mother's womb, you, you were placed on earth with the gifted. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And I want to let triumphant know this, that we need to step up because God is counting on this church. One of the things we need to do, Deacon Thompson, is to be a family again. We need to be a family again. We need to be a family again, Sister Evans. We need to be a family again, Sister Ruth. Brother Rick, we need to be a family again. Sister Zoe, we need to be a family again. Sister Nikki, we need to be a family again. I know we're going to be a family when we start respecting each other, caring for each other, feeling each other's pain. Hallelujah, God Almighty. Oh, somebody praise God in this place. Somebody stand and praise and praise God with me. Somebody stand on your feet and glory God. Glorify God with me. Somebody shout a praise to God. Somebody lift up your voice and shout a praise to God. Let us be a family again. Too much favoritism in the body of Christ. Get a motion. Too many clicks in the house of God. We need to get rid of the clicks in the house. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak with the authority of God in this place. We need to be one. We need to be one church. One church. Led by the Holy Spirit. Lead by the Holy Spirit. 
Moved by the Holy Spirit. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Get a boshanda. Get on a boshanda. Shake it on a boshanda. Get a boshanda, Rabbi. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Too many division in the house of God. We need to get it right. Get it right. Jesus is saying to triumphant, we need to get back as a family. We're too divided. Too divided. We're too divided. Oh my God Almighty. And maybe this is the last message I preach in this church. But I come to let somebody know this. That God is saying to this church. We need you need to get together. You need to come together. Because you've come together. You can do great and awesome things. Get up over Oh, somebody praise God in this place. Somebody raise your hand and praise God in this place. Somebody raise your hand and praise God. Oh, God Almighty. Let the glory of God be felt. Be, we, we can experience in this place. Come on, let, oh, let the pleasure of God be in this place. Oh, God, find the flame of the Holy Spirit in this place. Find the flame. Come alive again. Wake up again. Jesus is counting on you. We're too dry. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Come on, lift up those hands. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Woo! Woo! I f I'm feeling the power of God in this church. If only triumphant knows the gifting that God has placed in this church. And if God, if we could only come together and see ourselves as one, see ourselves as brothers and sisters, put in your church first. Hallelujah. God, he wants to do it in this church. As I said, there's a well of anointing in this church. There's a, there's a well of anointing in this church so deep. That God is saying to you, need to, we need to tap into it. Our forefathers have left it. And he wants us to carry it on. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus wants us to get it together. But before we get it together, Pastor Watts, we need to become as a family. Every now and then we, we want to listen what Jane says and Mary says about Tom, about Mary and Jane. And you, we use our phone as a weapon. And God is saying... Put the phone down. And let's come together as a people. Stop killing each other on the phone. Stop tearing on each other. When you come to church, don't give each other bad looks. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right, Sir Jasmine, I understand you, my dear. But let me say this, I'm coming down because 
this, this, this thing taking a, a hold of men. God no man. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, somebody bless God in this church. Oh, God Almighty. Ah, uh, my heart is in, uh, my heart is worried here about this church. But God is saying, no, don't worry, Eric. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it because it's my church. It's my church, Jesus is saying. It's his church. Glory to God. Let's come together and pray. And we're going to come and we're going to pray for each other. We're going to pray for the church. Come. Don't wait at nobody. Just run, come. 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 Get up, shut out of us. God want to deal with this church and God want to put this church on a level that you never dream of. But God wants us to get it right before the souls comes in. God want to get it right before all the souls. For, if we send them to us, God wants to, us to get it right. That when they come, we don't destroy them. We don't tear them down. But when they come, they will see a church that loves people. A church that loves God. A church that truly understands that the anointing, what, what is all about this anointing in this church? In other words, God wants us, want us to tap into it. Glory to God. Deacon Dice, come pray. Get up, Shanda. Mama, go, Abasha. Shake and do, Abasha. Jesus Christ, we honor you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Lord, we bless you today, God. We honor you, Lord. We glorify you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Here we are, God. Jesus at your throne of mercy. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your servant today, and we thank you for the word, O oh God, that you have given us. Here we come kneeling, O oh God. Jesus, my Savior, you know everything about our people right now, God. I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that you will touch us from the corner of our head to the sole of our feet. Uh, Lord Jesus, let thy Holy Spirit, uh, oh God, move and eradicate everything, oh God, out of our heart that is not of thee right now. Oh God, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Hallelujah, he say, as many as receive him, to them gave he the power to become sons of God, to all who believe. Lord Jesus, my Savior, I pray we'll be sons and daughters of you right now. We'll, oh God, recognize, Lord Jesus, that we are different. We are peculiar people. We are royal priesthood, holy nation, to show forth the praise of him that call us out of darkness to this marvelous light. Lord Jesus, oh God, hallelujah. You say we were once Gentiles, tossed to and fro, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. By the strength of the men, by the evil of the world, oh God, by evil, oh God, consistency. All the things of the world, oh God, we have strayed from you. And we have gone astray, God. But you have called us uh, to be, oh God, a peculiar people. A holy nation. Hallelujah. Today I pray, God, that we'll begin to, oh God, to stand up uh, as your people, oh God, who are called. Who you have invested in, oh God. You have given the gifts, uh, oh God. Hallelujah. The gifts of the Spirit. Hallelujah, today I pray you will unite us together, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus, to be a light. Oh, God, that others may see our good works and be led to glorify our Father which is in heaven. 
Lord Jesus, let us be the salt of the earth. Jesus, help us to know that you are coming back. Oh, God, you say you shall gather all men before you and you shall separate them as a shepherd. Separate the sheep from the goat. You shall sit unto them on the right hand. Call me blessed of my father into the kingdom. Prepare for you before the foundation of the earth. Lord Jesus, help us to know that there shall be a separation. Jesus, because you have separated us, Lord, hallelujah, by saving our soul. Today, God, we pray, God, for the spirit, hallelujah, have faith, courage, endurance. Oh, God, I pray for the burning of cleansing today, God. Cleanse out everything that is not of thee. Hallelujah. Cleanse out every imagination of evil. Every evil thought. Jesus, my Savior. Every evil, oh God, of the mind, the soul, the body, and spirit. Oh God, in time like this, as children of God, we need to know you, God. Hallelujah. We need to know who we serve. Lord Jesus, we are in evil days. And the heart of men are desperately wicked, but I pray, God, we in the church, oh God, we be in the position, hallelujah, to bring souls to you, to bring the world to, to know you, God. Jesus, here we are today at your feet, pleading for mercies. Lord Jesus, I, we come assemble before you, God. Jesus, and we heard thy servant. Jesus, but where are we going from here? Are we going to leave as we came? But the writer say, he that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. This morning, oh God, this afternoon, I pray, God, that we leave this place. Lord, we leave as a people, oh God, that are determined to change our life. Hallelujah. But all the things that, oh God, so easily beset us, we lay them aside. And we're on this race with patience. Jesus, gather us together today, Lord. And bind us together in the cord of love, by the cord of love. Jesus, help us to have fellowship one with another. Lead us, my safety, shall all men know that we are disciples of God. If we love one another, Father God, we are in a time, Lord God, that the church, oh God, uh, is not prepared. Lord, not prepared to evangelize to the world and not prepared, oh God, to be caught up with you when you return. But I pray, God, you will prepare us today. Lord God, prepare us, Jesus. Oh, God, this in ex extensive prayer, this extensive prayer, God, we could have gone home already, God, but you have uh, led your servant, hallelujah, to bring this word in, in our hearing today for a reason, for a purpose. My God, we want, oh, God, oh, to be a true Christian, true servants of God. Not only in words, but in deeds. God, the church is in words, oh God. But in deeds, oh God, we, are not seem, we have not seen, oh God, to reflect who we should be as Christians. Lord God, I pray for your mercy today. Lord, move all quarrelsome spirit, strifeful spirit, bitterness, strive, hunger, jealousy, Lord Jesus, my Savior, Lord, we look to you, God. Let none of these things be found in us from today onward. Lord, let the love of Jesus fill our heart. My God, let mercy and truth fill our heart. Lord God, we thank you. We, as we go, God, go with us. And let us, oh God, be a vessel of honor, to be used of you, God Almighty. 
to bring praise and glory and adoration to you. Lord Jesus, here we are, a vessel prepared today. Use us to thy glory, thy honor, and your praise. I will be humble before you, and we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Here we are to worship. Here we are to bow down. Here we are to say you are our God. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Amen. 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 Amen, God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's table land, a higher plan than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on high, higher ground. One more time. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven. My feet on high, higher ground. Let the church praise the Lord. Let the church praise the Lord. Let the church say amen. God has spoken, so let the church say amen. We thank God for the word of God today. Amen. The Bible says, show the house to the house. Amen. And every so often, we need to see where we are. Amen. And we are reminded to fan the flame that God has placed within us. Not my flame. We encourage each other to stir up the gift that is in you. Stir up your gift that is in you. So when I stir up my gift and you stir up your gift, we, we are able to do great things for God. Amen. Were you blessed today? Stretch your hands to your pastor and say, bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Be bold. Glory to God. Be strong. Love loud. Be triumphant. Be bold. Be strong. Love loud. Be triumphant. Be triumphant. Be triumphant. 